If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the unpopular book opinion book tag. I haven't done a video complaining in a while, I feel like. I think it's because I wasn't enjoying the books I was reading, so I already felt like I was complaining enough. But I've been really loving pretty much every book I've been reading lately, so it is time to complain a little bit and talk about things that will not be popular. So, <laughs> be prepared. I purposely chose my most unpopular opinions to answer these questions, so things should get interesting. Uh, question number one, a popular book or series that you didn't like? Okay, uh, I'm gonna mention three. The first two I was really disappointed with, and the third one, it wasn't that bad, but I just want to make this extra controversial. So, uh, the first one is Sendlin Ascends. I've mentioned the series, it's the first book in the series, and I expected to give this book five stars. It was on my shelf for years before I picked it up because I am that weird person that just likes to have books that I'm looking forward to on my shelves. Just, it brings me happiness. Uh, like, things to look forward to, I guess. And I picked it up because I was in need of a good book and <laughs> I was so disappointed by it. I think I ended up giving it two stars. My most disappointing books of last year. I didn't care for the trope, the whole like, is much younger wife, gets kidnapped, and suggested that a bunch of stuff happens to her uh, and he goes on his journey to get her. And that's, you know, the start of his transformation. So wasn't a fan of it. I did like, like it's through the level of the tower and like level two is really interesting and I was so pumped and pfft, no. Uh, I was willing to forgive that and it just wasn't worth it. Uh, so obviously we'll not continue. I think it's a courtlet. We'll never continue. Uh, the second one was Leviathan Wakes. It was just a very meh sci-fi. I was really looking forward to it because everyone was raving about it. I still have the first like, well, the first book and the third and fourth on my shelf. I was accumulating it because I thought I was going to binge read it and love it, give it all five stars and watch the TV show. And I've heard a TV show is much better than the books, but at this point I just don't even want to watch it because I really resented book one. I love like a lot of like cop talk kind of thing uh, on like a sci-fi ship and like I just really resented the misogyny, <laughs> so we'll not do it. The third book, again, mentioning again, I didn't give it two stars. I gave it, I think, 3.5. It just, I thought I was going to give it five stars, and I feel like a lot of people were shocked when I didn't, myself included, and it's Project El Marie. So popular. I feel like everyone loves it, and I overall did enjoy it. I enjoyed the friendship. I enjoyed the whole trope of, like, surviving in space with their wit. Definitely the strength of the author whenever he writes a male character. Um, still bitter about Artemis, but I feel like the flow kept being interrupted every time something would come up that come up that they had to solve, and I feel like it just didn't flow nicely. Like The Martian, I didn't have an issue because yes, same thing, things would happen, but he would fix it, and I feel like the story was still progressing, and I didn't feel like that with this one. So it's definitely me thing, definitely an unpopular opinion, <laughs> but. I expected more, I wanted more. I think I was, again, still bitter about Artemis and I want my, I wanted my mind to be blown. And it just didn't get there. It was still fine, but just... Question number two. Uh, a popular book or series that everyone else uh, seems to hate but you love. I don't feel like I have that many controversial opinion in terms of like, I loved it, nobody else did. But I do think that I have some that I have loved that it's really hit and miss. People either give it five stars or one stars. Like there's pretty much no in between. So a few of those would be like a little life. <laughs> I I think that the thing is that I am very reasonable when I hear someone hate a book that I loved. I feel like I don't, I don't get that emotionally invested unless they're like hating on like Becky Chambers or something, which pretty rare. Uh, <laughs> but like usually I'm like, ah, fair enough, I understand. And like I agree that this was basically torture porn. Yes, you're right. So I, I get it. I personally enjoyed it. I think the writing was gorgeous, uh, but definitely heavy on the torture porn. Something that is also hit and miss would be uh, The Midnight Library by Matt Hag. Uh, I agree that the ending wasn't perfect, but I still really overall enjoyed the book, could not put it down, and I really enjoyed the trope, so I don't really mind that other people didn't like it. Uh, the Invisible Life of Ed Lerue, same thing uh, for some people, they just hated it and Fair enough, personally really enjoyed it. Same thing with The Rage of Dragons, uh, fantasy, adult fantasy. We read it for the book club and it was probably one of the most hit and miss book that we have read. I personally enjoyed it, um, but a few people didn't and it's okay. Like I really don't take it personally. Like I will joke around, like I said, Becky Chambers, like To Be Thought If Fortunate is my favorite book by her. And it's not the case for most people and it's totally okay. But you know, 
Is it that controversial? Probably not. I don't know. Question number three. A love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with. Okay, I'm gonna keep that spoiler free-ish. Um, I feel like romance in general, I don't read a ton of it. And I've noticed that in contemporary romances, I have no, what's the word? I'm, I'm very strict. Like as soon as someone is abusive, I, I don't ship them anymore. I'm a little bit more flexible in fantasy. <laughs> I, I don't know why it is the case, but in contemporary, I've only read a couple, but like the hating game, I didn't necessarily want her to end up with someone else, but I didn't love, I didn't ship them. I didn't like her, which doesn't happen often in romance. I feel like it's often the man, man, main male character that is abusive, but she sucked. So I didn't really want her with anyone, to be honest. But the best example I have to answer this is from a TV show. It's technically a book, the Bridgerton series. So if you don't want to hear anything about the first season, mute me for a couple seconds. It's not going to last. But in the first season, I found myself really resenting the fact that she was rejecting the prince. Their love or his love was so much more pure than the other dude. Like, why? Why? I, I feel like she would have been better with him, happier with him, but... Whatever. Question number four. A popular genre that you hardly reach for. I feel like I could say romance, but I find myself not reaching for historical fiction, like at all. And I think part of me resents the whole World War II thing. I just, I've read too many. I cannot stand it anymore. And even right now I am reading or listening to um, When We Lost Our Heads and I'm like 20% into it and I don't find myself reaching for it like at all. And it's totally fine, the story's fine, and I feel like it's going to be popular, but like I just, I have very little interest. I don't know why. Okay, number five is going to hurt some feelings. Um, probably my most unpopular opinion in this whole video. Uh, a popular or beloved character that you do not like. Are you ready? Six of Crow, Kaz. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I don't care for him, like I don't hate him, but like I don't love him as much as everyone else. Everyone is so obsessed with the characters in the series, and I did think it was a strength of the book, but I don't like him. So, um, yeah, definitely not my most popular answer here. <laughs> Number six, a popular author you can't seem to get into. Uh, I mean, I could be very cliche and say Sarah J Maas because I have read, what, like three, four and a half of her books. I just couldn't get that into it. I think that a Court of Mist and Fury, the second book in that series, was her best, but it was still not the best book of all time. Um, and I just, I can't seem to be as obsessed with everyone else. Like the third book in that series, it suffered so hard of like middle book syndrome that I just stopped caring. Also a little bit like Ruth Ware, I feel like I want to love her more than I do. Like I've read a couple of her books, like three at this point, four. And like, they're not one stars, but they're not five stars either. They're just always like three and I want to love them more than I do. Number seven, a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. I've been vocal about it, but I can complain about it again today, so that's that's my jam. Um, I really, really, really hate when uh, sexual trauma, assault, whatever happens to a female character in order for the male, main male character to advance the story. I cannot stand it. I feel like sexual assault in general 99% of the time has no place in the book. Like not that it shouldn't exist, but like it's never done properly. I feel like it's always so bad, especially for male authors. Just gonna say it. Um, I feel like some authors do it better. Like I'm thinking, I had grabbed this book to give you an example, uh, An Unkindness of Ghosts. Basically this is a sci-fi where the Red Mountain of Humanity is part of a ship for like years and years and years of traveling for hopefully a new planet. And um, a lot of stuff happens to the main character. And I feel like the author, they did it properly because it's like suggested that these things happen, but it doesn't go into details and it doesn't feel sexualized, which I freaking resent from all the other books. I'm just like questioning the author's intention. So um, yeah, I just, I don't like it. I know. A popular series that you have no interest in reading. Um, I'm gonna switch it to like continuing for a few because The Crow Prince, I read the first book, did not understand the hype, super memorable to me. So I will not be continuing, it's a trilogy. Everyone has been raving about it. I just can't get into it. Um, if we continue with Sarah J Maas, <laughs> I didn't read the series, but Crescent City, that series, I, again, I think I've given up, I've given up, yeah, officially given up on Sarah J Maas. I just, I wanna get that obsessed about a book, but she's just not it for me. The whole like growling and like, <laughs> no.
<laughs> no. Also, we'll not be continuing Game of Thrones, which part of the series, but I think we've all given up on the series ever being uh, finished. And I've only read the first book completely and never finished the second book because it was too close to a TV show. And with that horrible ending of TV show, I just pretend the whole thing doesn't exist. And last but not least, oh, another one I wanted to complain about. Uh, the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? The Witcher. I attempted to read the book in uh, February, never finished it. I, about midpoint, put it down because, wow. Uh, the amount, you know, I was complaining about sexual assault. Every female character is depicted into like in a like sexual manner. Every single female character is sexually assaulted or sexualized or yeah. Uh, the only one that wasn't was the priestess of like fertility and blah, blah, blah. And she made a rape joke. And I've thought about it on Goodreads with so many people. I just don't even respond to the comment section. If you want to see an actual shit show, check it out. Um, people get so mad at me like, oh, like you, you read it out of context. No, I literally included the quote and it's the first book in the series. Like there's no more context than this. I've watched a TV show. Like, yes, the main character in TV show is morally gray. In the book, he's just a dumbass, like straight up. Um, the whole like, oh, like... I was resentful that like she didn't validate my feelings when I saved her, little girl that was being sexually assaulted, so I will not help anyone ever again. Like I, I don't care about your excuses, you're a piece of poo. So um, <laughs> I really, really, really hated that book. The first season was good, the second one I was really not that invested, but I understand that the world seems interesting in a TV show, but the book really failed to just give anything. I, I was just mad the whole time I read it because nothing was new that wasn't in a TV show. It just made everything worse. And I hate that people are like, oh no, the female characters are so empowered, but I did not see that. I, I did not see that. I could finish the book and continue arguing about it, but I wasted my time. I just don't want to read these kind of books anymore. Like it just, it was published in the 90s and yeah, it shows, it shows. Well, that felt good. I definitely needed that today. Um, let me in the comment section your unpopular book opinion answers to these questions. I think this was fun. I think I should do a second video. I had done back in the day one reacting to your unpopular book opinions. If you want to leave some in the comment section, I will definitely try to react to that. I feel like I, I'm in the mood because again, I keep reading really fantastic books, so I don't get to complain. And I mean, I need a little bit of that in my life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I will see you in a coming video very soon. Bye. Kiss on a cheek or love and just like we